Hello everyone, welcome to Clipboard Classes and today we're going to look at the Chinglish in English. So, when I talk about Chinglish, I mean Chinese English. Now, Chinese English really comes from something called Pidgin English. Now, there are many different types of Pidgin English around the world. And today we're going to look at uh, Chinese Pidgin English. So let me give you a quick history lesson about Chinese Pidgin English. So around the 17th century, people from Britain started to go to Hong Kong and Guangzhou and started to do trade with China. Now, they needed a trade language to speak to the local businessmen and the local people to do their business. The local people didn't speak English and the traders from Britain didn't speak Chinese. So eventually, during the 17th century, they made this thing called Pidgin English. And today I'm going to show you some examples of Pidgin English that have actually made it into the British English language. Around the 19th century, Pidgin English stopped being used. This is because of two reasons. The first one is in the 19th century, people started to learn standard English in the schools. And also, the second reason was people believed that Pidgin English was a very common language and it was used by the common people. So people started to learn standard English and better educate themselves. Although it died out in the 19th century, some of the words and phrases still made it into the English language. So they're not really Pidgin English, they've kind of turned into Chinglish or Chinese English. So let's look at some examples. Now, the first one I'm sure you have heard before. Long time no see. Long time no see. This is used uh, when you haven't seen somebody for a very long time and you see them, you could say long time no see. This comes from the Chinese phrase hun jiu bu jian. No can do. So this means that you can't do something. Maybe you ask for a favor or ask for some help and somebody says no can do. So this also comes from the Chinese phrase bu ke yi. No can do. The next one is no money, no talk. No money, no talk. Now this comes from the Chinese phrase mei qian bie tan. This would have been a trader in uh, China who is dealing with customers and maybe the customers are trying to get a cheaper price. So they would have said no money, no talk, which means if I don't see the money, we can't talk about the price. And let's look at the last one. So this one is chop chop, chop chop, which the Chinese phrase would be kuai kuai, which means to do something quickly. Maybe you're telling your friends, let's go to the cinema and your friends taking a long time getting ready and you say, come on, chop chop, let's go. Okay, so chop chop. There are many words in the English language that come from different languages. These are just a few examples of how the Chinese language has influenced English. If you know any other languages or any other words that have influenced or changed English, please leave a comment and let me know. I'll be really interested to find out. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you next time.